Okay, so now we get to the more exciting part, calculating the expected value. So here is where we calculate the expected value at each node, starting from the right and working towards the left. As you start from the terminal node, look for a node where branches come together at another node. Most likely this is going to be a chance node. First, multiply the probabilities of the branches times the values at the end of the node. Second, where those branches come together, likely a chance node, you add the results of those multiplications together. The result of this calculation is the expected value at that node. And you keep doing these calculations from right to left until you reach the decision node at the very beginning of the tree. So let's walk through an example. Here's the simple example. Step one. We end up putting the values at our terminal nodes where we have zero for life and we have one for death. Next, we look at the two branches coming from the terminal node, and we see they come together at a chance node. First, we multiply the probabilities times the values at the end of the, of the terminal node. So we have the 0.95 times 0 gives us 0, and you see where the 0.95 come from, and the 0. The next thing you do is you multiply the 0.05 times the 1 and you get the 0.05 and here you see where the 0.05 comes from and where the 1 comes from. Next you add these two values together so you have 0 plus the 0.05 and you get the value of 0.05. This tells you that the expected value at this node is 0.05 and we use this value to continue moving to the left. Now we look at the next node and we calculate its expected value. We do the same thing that we did before. We multiply the probabilities of the top branch times the value of that node and we get a 0.01. You see where the 0.02 comes from and where the 0.05. We do the same thing for the bottom branch and we get a zero. You see where the 0.08 comes from and the zero. And then we add those two values together and we get a 0 0.01. And that gives us the expected value at this node. So what does this 0 0.01 mean? Hint, remember our outcome of interest. I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. So since our observation or our outcome of interest is death, this tells us that 1% or 1 out of 100 people will die from this intervention. If we had 1 as life and then our expected value of intervention A would have been 99% or 0.99 and that would mean 99% of the people would live. So you can use either value as far as your outcome. Either they live or they die. You just need to make sure that you interpret them correctly. So that's the end of me uh, giving instructions on calculating the expected value, and I hope you understand it more. If not, please contact your mentor, and they'll be able to walk you through it. Thank you.